ברוך אתה אדוני, הלכונו מלך העולם, אשר נותך התורה האמת, ובשרה ישוע, לאום יזרעאל ולמכל חכמים. על ידי בנו ישוע חמשיה, אדוננו. On Tashrit the 10th, the Kohen HaGadol is to immerse in the mikveh, offer two male goats as a karban hatat, or sin offering, one ram for a Kohen, for a karban hala for the nation, for himself and his household. He is to present a young bull as a sin offering and a ram as a burnt offering. For the two goats, he is to cast two lots, one for Azel, most likely a cliff in the desert to the north upon which he is to be pushed off from, and one for the king as a sin offering. The Kohen HaGadol is to burn 5.65 pounds of the incense, take this and bring it inside the veil. He is to sprinkle some of the bull's blood seven times on the ark cover toward the east. After slaughtering the goat of the sin offering, he is to sprinkle some of its blood seven times by with using his fingers on the ark of, on the ark cover towards the east. He is to put some of the blood of the bull and goat on the horns of the altar of burnt offering and sprinkle it with his finger seven times. He then is to lay both of his hands on the head of the living goat and confess over it all the transgressions, crimes, and sins of the nation of Israel. This goat is to be led off to the cliff by a pre-selected man who bathes after fulfilling his duty. He then is to remove the soil, linen, garments and leave them there and bathe in a mikvah in a holy place. Now he offers both of the burnt offerings. On Tishri the 10th, the offerings are to be one bull, one ram, seven male lambs, and 24 quarts of fine flour mixed with olive oil. Besides these, there is to be a male goat burned as a sin offering. This is in addition to the daily offerings of two male lambs four quarts of fine flour as a grain offering mixed with two quarts of oil from pressed olives and 7.333 cups of wine. If Bnei Yisrael rebels against the throne, he will turn his face from them due to them worshiping what isn't him as they are a perverse generation. He will send the nations against them and them against the nations. His anger will be poured out to the full measure. Young and old will both be punished. Yeshiyahu and the Nebi speaks the kind of fast that the king of the universe wants his people, wants of his people one of charity and of freedom, not one just to do it or to mortify oneself.